wonderful good morning ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to another episode first episode with having the PHEV back in the carport connected to the charger charged um, for a long time actually with the old battery I connected the charger at about two o'clock and it finished at around seven so it was five hours 6m charging five hours 50 minutes tonight I connected the charger at 11 three hours earlier and it is still charging it is still charging with 720 watts this is almost for uh, this is more than seven hours now and it's still charging I hope I can finish it I need to leave in about let's see if we can put the dog in charge mode and here we go 103.3 percent 37.6 so I have a look at this it already recognizes the battery is has more capacity than it actually shows so it's showing 4.1 volts which is about 85 to 90 percent real charge still charging should be finished every second it says 100 percent in there exciting Oh guys, something happened. While I'm still charging, the state of charge has dropped from 103% back to 99 and the battery has degraded again. So it just went down from 95.8 to 95.5. So this is the second degradation since I picked up the car yesterday morning. So within 18 hours or so, the battery has degraded twice and it has done a full recalculation now of the state of charge and dropped down by about f it was a hundred uh, four point four point seven percent almost five percent drop while charging it's not good that's not good something is definitely going on and this is hundred percent software related uh, it hasn't picked it up yet here see that's where it was ninety five point eight and we are now at 95.5 will be a couple of interesting days and the charge has finished no not see I don't understand this one here it's not flashing anymore it's connected it's still charging with half an amp 120 watts looks like it's doing a balancing thing or whatever okay guys so this is insane that's not good. Well guys, and this morning, I hope you appreciate I'm wearing a shirt. next degradation 0.1 ampere hour as seen already and we are still going to 98.9 percent state of charge the charge has finished uh, literally 10 minutes ago or so and we are at 98.9 percent as you have seen it was at 103.7 percent already and then all of a sudden it dropped back to 99 percent so obviously the software is totally broken. It's not able to cope with this battery at the moment. Well, it couldn't cope before either. So <laughs> the the software is totally fucked up, really. Gasometer shows us 45 kilometers. Now let's see what the dog says. Oh, here we go. 40 kilometers for the dog. Still 20% lower than advertised. Okay, I have to charge at work again because I've got another appointment this afternoon after work. So I need a full battery when I leave work. The software is insanely stupid. And all this together when you... And this sudden drop this morning in state of charge is just another proof that the software is not working correctly. I said this from the beginning. I'm not convinced this is the battery. This is a battery problem. And I pitched this to Mitsubishi as well. I said, look, I don't think it's the battery alone. It may have degraded to a certain amount after 80,000 kilometers for sure. But this is not purely hardware related. This is a big software issue what you have. 
but as you know they insisted to replace the most expensive part of the car first and now we are seeing all these um, issues again with these cars this is the second car in Australia who got a new battery and the first car they have replaced did exactly the same as mine losing capacity almost every day after a few kilometers after a charge it dropped it dropped it dropped it dropped until they did the DB cam and the cell smoothing maybe not even once maybe they have to do it a couple of times until the software is calibrated to the new battery and well since then the other guy has reported no degradation at all since then no nothing zero again this proves it is a software problem I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's software related Smith UQ overpass 5.6 ampere hours as always no change but look at this we've still got 30.7 ampere hours left well before I had only 19 or so, so <laughs> 30 is insane morning Mitsubishi please keep my loan car here I'll pick it up soon So we have arrived at work and have a look at this 9.3 ampere hours but amazing we've got 30 kilometers left 30 kilometers before it was like 18 to 20 and now 30 kilometers on the gasometer and still 27.4 ampere hours ah plenty of juice plenty of juice amazing okay guys um I got an email from Mitsubishi last night I'll, I'll tell you more about this um, when the day there will be more communication happening today uh, hopefully and they will advise what to do and they will advise what to do with the car and how to proceed further okay talk to you soon guys I just uh, fully charged the car here at the club as I sometimes do I can hear the air condition already running for the battery cooling the battery is nice and warm snugly warm we've got 37 but the car is in the Sun here so 103.9 percent see it recognizes the capacity of the battery but it does not adjust the state of health it never never went up for me I always have these charging 49 kilometers fully charged well interesting was when I drove the car into the bay there to charge it actually you remember when I was really desperate to find this loss of energy while parking I made 160 videos about that actually me looking for this cause and it turns out that now with a new battery I've got a gain of capacity. I drove in the car to charge it over there it showed me plus 1.6 ampere hours after three hours of parking I have no idea why this is happening now I obviously will monitor the situation after parking for a while now and see if this is actually a thing it showed me uh, two kilometers more on the gasometer and 1.6 ampere hours plus again so there's no usage of battery at all and just because it's a new or a different battery the estimation goes up all of a sudden it shows again how stupid this software really is in this car it's not why would it show why would it show a loss with the old battery and again with a new one this does not make sense at all okay so far I haven't heard back from Mitsubishi about anything but I'll leave this all with them I think they've got enough to do now with this case here I don't want to tease them too much okay then we've got a 49 kilometer range now on the gasometer I will actually test this this afternoon because we've got probably a 60 kilometer drive ahead of us so I will uh, drive with 80 90 kilometers per hour again as yesterday and see how many kilometers we can get out of this battery now I'm expecting it to drop down to 40 kilometers so pretty much the same as yesterday okay see you in the afternoon then okay let's see what we have now should have gone down a little bit wow a little bit that's a lot still on 4.09 35 degrees 
Hey, welcome to sunny hot Australia. Okay, um, gasometer shows 45, so four, yeah, four kilometers down. After the full charge, it showed us 49, so it's four kilometers down. But, uh, look, that's totally fine because the state of charge is always higher directly measured after the charge has finished. So a little drop is totally fine. So this is probably acceptable. And let's see how many kilometers we actually get out of this battery now. So we have now driven uh, 25, 26 kilometers and the gasometer is actually down uh, 27 kilometers. So it looks like the gasometer is now more accurate than before. It can determine the actual EV kilometers a lot better. That's what I found. Have a look at this insane battery temperature again. Maximum temperature is 35 in one of the modules. Number two again. Woohoo, new battery. And the lowest one is number 519, so nothing has changed there. And I think this ratio is not healthy. It's not good to have such a high temperature spread in the cells. It cannot be healthy for the battery over time. So the uh, engine just kicked in because I was driving here lowered in uh, city traffic, basically. Well, there was no traffic, but it was very slow driving. I could push it down to 28.9% state of charge. That's probably the lowest so far with a new battery. I could get the battery down, but still it was um, around 10.5, uh, 10.4 amp hours. So I'm driving almost 80 kilometers an hour on battery and the state of charge is down to 28.7. So even lower as in the city I was just driving in, in, in town, not a city. And the engine still hasn't kicked in. So I'm not sure, this software is totally unpredictable. I, now it kicked in at 28.4. So it, it went actually lower in a higher speed than before on a, on a slower speed. It just doesn't make sense at all. So I arrived here with 30% um, state of charge. And we've used 1.9 liter per 100 kilometers so far. That was mainly from the drive back from Lowood back home. So I'll plug in the car again. It gets a nice fresh charge overnight. I started at 11 o'clock last night. So three hours earlier than before with the old battery and it was very close to my departure time. So I will start the charge at 10.30 just to make sure the car is fully charged when I leave. I don't have an appointment tomorrow, but I just want to see how much energy actually. I've forgotten to look this morning. It was about 9.7 kilowatt hours the battery took. Okay guys, so far this little update. Ah, and as well, we will have a telephone conference call tomorrow on Friday with Mitsubishi. Um, probably only me and Mitsubishi at the moment, as far as I know, but we will see. Discuss the battery problem, the battery issue, the battery feature, the new battery with the technical team of Mitsubishi Australia. I'm excited. Good stuff. And I'll update you in the next video, of course, what is going on with this battery and how we go from here. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching again. Thanks for your support. I am Andy from Sunny Hot Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again probably tomorrow in the next video. Okay guys, see you then.